In this video, I will show you how to create Go High Level contact for Shopify order automatically. So, what will happen whenever a new order is received from a customer in your Shopify store, the same customer will be instantly and automatically created as a contact in your high level software. So, if you also want to sync your Shopify customers with high level software, then come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So this is my Shopify store and this is the dashboard of high level and I will place a dummy order in front of you and you will see how my details will be created as a contact in go high level and in order to automate this process firstly I will have to connect this Shopify and high level application with the help of software called as Pabli connect which is an integration and automation software. I am an existing user of Pabli connect so I am already logged in you can create your free account in Pabli connect in just a two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of public connect click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have directly pasted the name as create go high level contact for shopify order now simply click on create and then you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens and action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application so this is how you need to always choose the applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case we want that whenever any new order is placed in our Shopify application then automatically add the customer who has just placed the order in our high level application okay well in place of high level basically in order to connect a high level with the Pabli connect I will search for lead connector version 2 yes if you want to integrate go high level with the Pabli connect you will have to search this lead connector version 2 okay so I have selected both the application in this trigger and the action window and now the idea here is firstly I will connect to Shopify with the Pabli connect and will capture the order details here okay so so that is why I will be selecting this new order trigger event and further I will connect Pabli connector with the lead connector and will send the order details okay so in this way this automation is going to take place okay so here you can notice after selecting the trigger event it has provided me a webhook URL and few set of instructions so you will have to follow these instructions carefully one by one simply copy this webhook URL and then go back to your Shopify store then you will have to click on the settings option after that you will have to search for the notifications okay so here we have the notification and in the last you will find the option of webhook okay so how about i directly search for the webhook okay so in this way you will find the button of creating a webhook now here in this url section i will be pasting the same webhook url which i have just got from public connect and in the event i will select the same event which i have selected in my public connect dashboard that is new order so let me search for the same that is order payment okay so here we have the very same event and in the format you will have to go with JSON and in the API version you will have to go with the latest API version okay now simply click on save and this is how the webhook will be saved and in this way you can simply connect your Shopify store with the Pabli connect okay so now in order to test this integration test this connection here we will read the instructions that it is saying login to the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means new order in shopify okay so yes i am going to perform the same and for the same it is also waiting for the webhook response okay so firstly i will open my online store and will place a dummy order with some dummy details okay so here you can notice several products are there okay so how about i buy this smartphone okay so i will be placing an order for this smartphone so clicking on this buy it now and now i will add i will use some random and dummy details 
So here I have provided a dummy email address something like dummy customer 4321 at pabdi2.com further I have added the billing address the city as Bhopal the state as MP and the country as India and using the testing card details basically that bogus gateway I am making this payment okay so the card number is one the name on the card is bogus gateway and the security code is 111 clicking on this pay now button and as soon as the order is successful in my Shopify store you will notice that how the details will be received via Pabli Connect okay so here you can notice the response is received and now I'll show you the details one by one okay so here we have the amount of that product as 10,000 now I'll show you other things also like the customer details okay give me a second I'll show you everything okay here we also have the product name and here we have the email address of the person here we have the last name the first name and all other details like the email address the city state and everything so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in shopify and public connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone will place a new order in your shopify store the order details will be captured via public connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture Capture incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. Okay, so in this way, the first step of our automation is done, and now moving further, I am going to send this order data to my Go High Level software. And for connecting Go High Level with the Pabli Connect, I have selected this Lead Connector version. Two, okay, now I will be selecting the action event that is create a contact because I want to perform the same. Okay, and just like we have firstly connected Shopify with Pabli Connect. Now I will be connecting this lead connector with Pabli Connect. Clicking on add new connection, clicking on this button and then you will have to provide the access of your software. Okay, because I am already logged in into my software. So that is why instead of providing the access, I have selected the account type and here you can notice the authorization is successful and my Go High Level software is immediately connected with the Pabli Connect. Okay, and here you can notice it is asking me several details which are actually required for creating a contact in any CRM okay so now you tell me from where I'm going to provide these details remember I have already captured these details as the response of my first step of my Shopify step okay and the interesting thing here is I am NOT going to manually copy these details one by one and paste below I am going to map these details okay and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will will find the same data the above data here in the drop down so let me first search for the first name and in the same way I am going to map the details in other fields also okay so let me search for the last name of the person which was customer okay so where is the last name all right so here we have the last name field okay now you must be thinking that what is the significance of mapping okay so whatever the details we will provide here via mapping will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time and and whatever the details I will provide here manually will remain same for every new order okay so give me a second let me search for the last name so here you can notice I have added the first name as well as the last name and in this way I have provided the full name okay and again telling you whatever the details I am mapping here will be replaced automatically let me also map the email address which was dummy customer 4321 at pabditudes.com yes I also have the phone number of the person alright so I have mapped it asking for the address okay so let us search for the address as well which was something like premium premier orchard okay so i have added the same city as bhopal and in the same way i am going to map the details one by one okay so give me a second so I have mapped all the details and if you will map these details these will replaced automatically but if you will provide any value manually that value will remain same okay so how about I directly click on this button save and send test request and I am really expecting that a positive response will be received here and if the response is positive that means the contact is successfully created in our go high level dashboard okay I'm really sorry in our go high high level dashboard okay so I am opening the contact section and here you can notice the same person 
with the same email address with the same phone number with the same name and with the same details has been created as a contact okay so here you can notice all the details are the same okay so in this way with the help of pably connect with the help of this automation you can automate the process of creating a contact in your high level crm software directly from shopify orders okay so now onwards what will happen every time a new order is placed from a customer the same customer will be created as a contact in our high level crm and just in case if you want to access this two step workflow inside your pably connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on this link and then sign up for free into the pably connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pably connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video